So apparently, Black Twitter is mad about a three-part documentary that Hulu was making about Black Twitter. You know your Black way. Thanksgiving clap. Black girls on magic. Meet me in Temecula. Hashtag Dem Thrones. People were like, where is Black Twitter? White folks talk about Black Twitter like it's Wakanda. <laughs> Let's go. You don't have to be a Twitter X user to know the crazy reach and impact that Black Twitter has had over the last 14 years. But Black Twitter isn't a monolith. It's a collective of voices from different communities and networks that discuss anything and everything relevant to the Black community. But I'm Ju. Please like and share the video and don't forget to sub to the channel. Now, Let's get into Black Twitter talking about the Black Twitter documentary. Through the years, Black Twitter has become a cultural force that popularized and promoted the Black Lives Matter movement and often called out celebrities and corporations for cultural appropriation without credit in the culture. It also helped make a 180 tweet thread of a stripper recounting an adventure filled trip to Florida become a full length movie, Zola. You want to hear a story about how me and this fell out? It's kind of long, but it's full of suspense. You want to go somewhere with me? That's my face. Shut it so bad. Dear Heavenly Father. But back to this documentary, which is looking to chronicle the dominance of Black Twitter and how it became so influential politically and culturally. But the thing that makes Black Twitter so relevant, powerful, and influential is the regular people on Twitter that are powering these conversations. So as soon as the trailer premiered, there was immediate skepticism from the Black Twitter community about who and what this documentary was actually for, as well as who would it focus on and who were the contributors. So let's see some of the reactions from the people that make Black Twitter what it is. Question. If Black Twitter was present for all Black Twitter's antics, then who the hell is the documentary for exactly? We was all there. You can't explain the brilliance that is Black Twitter and any sort of documentary that won't make it seem corny as fuck. Far too nuanced, far too many contributors. It's one of those things you just understand without having to explain. Black Twitter arguing over whether that Black Twitter documentary is going to include all the right people and topics is the most Black Twitter thing ever. The real meat and potatoes of Black Twitter is everyday people, not B list black celebrities and pseudo intellectual talking heads. But are there non famous black Twitter people involved, the ones who actually move the app? That Black Twitter documentary looks like it might be when the yearbook staff made the yearbook, but they just made sure their friends were all in the yearbook and not really what was happening in school at the time. I know this is about to be corny as hell because the black people that actually made Black Twitter what it is are all non-famous black people. I only see well-known black people in this advert. They do not move the culture or run anything. They are spectators at best. It's hard to argue with any of the points that the tweets made or question why they're being skeptical. If black Black Twitter is really about the people and they're all regular people, not celebrities, then it does seem kind of weird to have a bunch of black celebrities that aren't really involved in the movement in the first place talk about it. With so much of black Twitter voicing the skepticism, some of the people that were actually involved with the docuseries responded, some better than others. Princess Penny, who was a showrunner for Insecure, actually responded, and I really liked his response. He addressed the concerns, but still kept it light and playful. I like to think after 20 years of holding the culture down, y'all would trust I got black Twitter Hulu best interest in mind. But low key, I also love black Twitter mad, hesitant, and petty. The reaction to that black Twitter doc is what it is. Right, wrong, and way off. But it's clear that a lot of y'all don't know what gatekeeping actually means. That and it feels like you want movies, books, and content about us, but to exist in a magical vacuum that only we see. Cultural history is just stories. If nobody tells the stories, actually, let me be more specific. If the right people don't tell the stories accurately, they get lost. Secondly, this is not let's decode black Twitter hashtags as a doc. It's about the community's growth and impact. When one of y'all create a password protected black people only media outlet where we can archive our stories, let us know. Until then, shut the fuck up. Seriously, y'all been annoying AF about this all day. Complain when white people try to tell our stories. Complain when we tell tell our stories, complain that nobody's told our stories. Just shut up or do something different. And I guess the original tweet that she was responding to, since I'm the only one not understanding, how do we go from saying we need to gatekeep our culture to this? Like, do y'all even hear regular black people when we're speaking? So you can see everyone's perspective. Black Twitter is hesitant and the people making the documentary feel like they're acting in the best interest of the people. 
But y'all let me know in the comments. Do you think the pushback about the docuseries was right? That it looks corny, that they're only going to feature celebrities and not the actual average people that make the app work? And will you be watching when it finally airs? But thanks for watching. Please make sure you check out the next video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.